hope you can't hear that screaming kid outside. Friendships have always been kind of tricky for me. I've always put my relationships above everything else. It's my priority, it's my number one. And I thought, I thought it would be the same for everybody else. Until I realized that most of my friendships tended to end in a disappointment. Turns out people have different priorities. Who would have known? If for me, my priority might be people and relationships, yeah, for other people it could be career and money. And it actually took me most of my life to realize that, believe it or not. Placing value in people and relationship is unpredictable, unstable, and can be so painful because it makes you so vulnerable to things that are completely out of your control. And by things, I mean other people. Sure, you can lose your job, lose all your money, end up broke, change your career, but money doesn't flake on you. It doesn't betray you. It doesn't dissolve over time like some relationships tend to do. In a sense, I was kind of lucky when it comes to friendship as I've got to experience many types of friendship. I've got to experience lovely, valuable, uh, deep-rooted, bonding, Friendships. I've got to experience contextual friendships where the relationship starts and ends where you both are, which is usually a workplace or a course or school or whatever. I've got to experience friendships that have turned into more than friendship. I've had romances revert back to friendship. I've also experienced toxic friendships that I've had to cut out of my life. And I've also been badly hurt by the betrayal of someone I considered to be a very close friend. And then there's a the disappointment. Ooh, the disappointment. I actually feel like most of my relationships are tinted with disappointment. Actually, disappointment is so present in my relationships that it makes me wonder, am I expecting too much out of my friendships. Sure, I'd love to be in a group of friends where I'm Carrie and I have Miranda, Charlotte and Samantha out of Sex in the City to support me and see every other day and hang out and chill. But I know I'm in the real world. I know what reality is. I actually have a pretty darn good grip on reality. So where am I going wrong? Why are friendships so tricky to me? Why the disappointment? What am I doing wrong? Now, I know I don't get along with everybody. I choose quality over quantity. I get along with a particular group of people with a particular mindset. And I know my personality isn't for everybody. So that really does constrain my pool of possibilities. But recently, I find myself swimming laps in my social pool alone, blowing sad bubbles, in the shallow end and feeling damn sorry for myself. Where did everybody go? You know, they say you know who your real friends are when you're going through hardships or hard shits as I like to call it because friends, real friends, supposedly stick with you through thick and thin but then why is it that every time shit hits the fan in my life I find myself cleaning all by myself. And this realization actually brings on a brand new explosion of shit everywhere. Now I'm the type of person that tends to forgive everything and everyone. And I will actually go out of my way to find excuses for people, letting them off the hook. Like, nah, it's okay, they were probably busy or tired or just tired about work to actually call to cancel. People have lives, they can't always check up on you or ever except when they need something from you after a while you start doubting yourself as a person your self-confidence plummets and you're wondering why you're alone cleaning poo off the walls and why nobody likes you sure the poo on the wall stinks who wants to take time out of their lives to go clean up somebody else's shit i'll tell you who friends friends do do that. So yeah, as I've mentioned, friendship has been kind of tricky for me, especially in my adult life. Not only is it hard to make new friends once you're out of school, 
once you're an adult. But it's also hard to actually find people who truly care about you. Now stop, hang on, I want to say something real quick. Because it isn't because you don't have any valuable friends around you at this point in your life that you're unlovable. Absolutely not. <laughs> so don't think that about yourself and don't let anybody scoff at you and say <laughs> She doesn't have any friends. She must be weird. That says a lot about her. No way. Don't let anybody say that about you. You know who you are, you little f Anyway. I don't know what the point of this video is, maybe this was a overdue rant. I have tried to write a blog post about it ages ago, but it just turned into complete anger and dissing on everybody I know, which is not the point of this. Don't get me wrong, I just want to talk about friendship in general, get this off my chest and see if there's anybody who relates to this. Friendship is tricky. Relationships are messy. But if there's someone you care about in your life, if someone matters to you, be a good person to them, be a good friend, be a good partner. And obviously that goes for me too. I'm not always the best of friends. I sometimes forget to check up. I know, I sometimes realize that, oh, I'm gonna call this person because I need something from them. Oh shoot, I haven't spoken with them for two months and now I need something. What the F? that type of thing. Be a good friend to the people who matter. Even if relationships aren't your priority, try to make it go at least in your top three because at the end of the day, cold cash does not keep you company. It does not keep you warm at night. You can't call it when you're feeling sick. Relationships are... Let's be corny. Relationships are everything. Pretty much. So be a good friend to the people who matter to you, a good friend, a good partner, a good person, a good anything you can think of. Don't be afraid to cut ties with people who aren't worth it. Even if it means being alone for a little while, it's okay. It doesn't mean you're unlovable. It's just a period of time. You'll find people who will be your people, your tribe, your vibe attracts your tribe. Yeah, I just said that. And until then, learn to count on yourself, learn to rely on yourself because in the end, you are all you have. And it's corny and it might be silly, but it's true. It's friggin' true. I'm experiencing it right now and I'm so happy that I have myself to count on. Me, myself and I. You, yourself and you. <laughs> So guys, I'm opening up the comments for a discussion. I want to know what your point of view on friendship is. Maybe you've had the same friends throughout your entire life. Maybe you're happy to have a lot of friends that are not close because you can pick and choose and mix and mingle. Maybe relationships aren't your thing at all. Maybe you're happy to be alone and rely on yourself. Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you make friends. I'm actually interested to know how people make friends. Do you just go up to someone and be like, hey, I just met you and this is crazy. Here's my number. Call me maybe. I don't freaking know, but let me know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be my friend, join the community, and I usually post one to two videos a week. Until the next time I see you, I L word you all, and I'll see you very soon in another video. See you soon. Bye. You know who you are, you little f***. <laughs>